So over the past few years, Visual Studio Code has been my favorite IDE to use. I used to use Sublime before and then Visual Studio, but these days I almost exclusively use Visual Studio Code. But regardless of what you use, setting up your IDE properly is an often overlooked, but a quite effective way at improving your coding productivity. So today I wanted to show you how I set up and customize my VS Code to get the most out of it. I'll start off by mentioning a few extensions and how they improve my coding workflow. And I'll also talk about a few settings that will help you get the best out of Visual Studio Code as well. So let's start off with extensions. The first extension that I use is LiveShare. For almost every project that I work on, whether it is for work or a side project, I collaborate with one or more software engineers. LiveShare is an amazing extension that allows you to easily collaborate, pair program, code review, or debug with another software engineer at real time. All you need to do is sign on with your GitHub or Microsoft account, and you'll be able to share your editor with another person. Studies have shown that two programmers working on the same project is only about 15% slower, but with the massive benefit of also producing 15% lesser bugs. Therefore, on the long run, the benefits of collaborating and pair programming outweigh the little slowdown in speed. And if you use Visual Studio Code as your main IDE, the Live Share extension is your tool to effectively collaborate with other engineers. Keeping up with the idea of coding faster and with lesser mistakes, the next extension that I've recently fallen in love with is Tab9, which is also the sponsor of this video. Tab9 is the world's leading AI code completion tool trusted by over a million developers worldwide. It helps you code faster, reduce mistakes, and discover the best coding practices using machine learning. It is fast, effective, and accurate. I know that this video is about VS Code, but Tab9 supports over 30 languages and 15 different IDEs. Its machine learning code completion models constantly learn from public code repositories and suggest the right code completion for you at the right time so that you don't need to type full lines of code, memorize syntax, or worry about typos. Tab9's local completion model runs on your machine without sending any of your code anywhere. You can even work offline. I've been using this extension for a few months now and it is a game changer. I highly recommend it. And the best part, it is free to get started with the basic completion model. You can always upgrade to the pro or the team version for advanced completion models, cloud computing, as well as personalized completion models that you can train on specific code of your choosing. You can use the link below to get started with Tab9. The third extension I use is called GitLens. VS Code already has a lot of built-in Git functionalities. GitLens basically supercharges that. It helps you visualize code authorship at a glance and helps you seamlessly navigate and explore Git repositories and gain valuable insights. GitLens also helps you understand the code you're working with better. You can quickly glance into whom, why, and when a line or a code block was changed, jump back through history to gain further insights into what files were checked in or modified or how the code evolved over time. The fourth extension I install is called Import Cost. Import Cost is an extension that helps you estimate the size of an imported package. When you import a lot of packages, especially large ones, it can quickly grow your project size and negatively impact user experience. And this is a great way to keep track of all the packages you import and their dependencies. And finally, I want to talk about Emmet. This used to be an extension in Sublime, but in VS Code, it's built in. And it surprises me that a lot of people still don't know about this. Emmet basically lets you write HTML code much faster. For example, you can pull in an entire boilerplate code for a page with just an exclamation sign. You can also create simple or nested tags very quickly. I wanna mention a few more extensions that are there mainly to improve the aesthetics of your code. I'm not much of a theme person, so I just use the default dark theme. However, I've heard great things about Cobalt 2, Night Owl, and Winter is Coming themes. So if you're into themes, do check them out. There's also an extension called Prettier that helps you format your code automatically on save or file close. It is a great extension to use if you like auto formatting, but a lot of projects that I use have very specific formatting rules, so I don't use Prettier that often. And the final one I want to mention here is Bracket Pair Colorizer. It basically colors pairs of brackets, as the name suggests. It not only makes your code look more visually pleasing, but also helps quickly find the closing end of your brackets. I may not care much about themes, but I do care about font, typography, ligature, and icons. I think they make the code look less monotonous and add a bit of personality. For that, I use Icon Pack for VS Code, and I also use the Cascadia Code font from Microsoft and enable ligatures in settings. 
Speaking of settings, I wanna show you some that I think will make your life easier. The first one is putting the sidebar on the right side. It basically replicates Visual Studio, and I also like that it does not make the code move when I open or close the sidebar, unlike when it's placed on the left. I find that very distracting. The second setting is updating the window title. I always add the root path to the files, especially on my Mac, because I seem to never know where my files are on my Mac. And this also makes it very easy to find file locations when you're working on a very large project. Third setting is regarding the the ruler. I set mine to 120, but you can set it to whatever your project's formatting rules are. This prevents you from writing lines that go too far on the right. And the final thing that I do is enable settings sync so that all my settings and extensions stay in sync across different computers and I never have to repeat the same process again. So that's it guys, those are the extensions and settings I use. It's pretty straightforward and simple, but a lot of people don't do them or have to do them repeatedly. And like I always say, having a consistent experience across your projects is quite important, especially for a universal ID like Visual Studio Code. And I think that really improves your software engineering workflow and makes you more productive as a coder, eliminating those little quirks and annoyances that come with every ID. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.